The hardest part about fixing this boat was never about the bulkheads, or even the grinding. It was always the moments when I had to say goodbye. I miss you. I miss you too. I love you. Can you skip your flight? I tell myself that I'm doing this all for them, but the only thing they want is for me not to leave. Help me take care of the family. Be strong, okay? I love you. I'm always chasing more for us, you know? So we can be happier. But all these months apart have shown me that maybe we already have the best this world has to offer in each other. Just sitting at home waiting. The first night back is always the hardest. <sighs> Especially that long, lonely drive into the jungle. Parked at the town square of this tiny little town called Mushroom Portobello, which means mushroom, right? Anyways, super small, maybe population like 200 people. Instead of convenience stores like in the U.S., in these small towns in Panama, they've got these places called feterias. They basically sell everything. It's like a hardware store slash mini grocery store. Sometimes they got like a butcher shop going on. No, no, no. No rain suits here. So the upside is that these feterias are all over the place. There's three of them in this tiny town of Mushroom. The cool thing about these places is that they're all run by Chinese people, which means for once I can communicate without butchering the Spanish language. And sometimes they give me a discount. Hi, ni hao. You mei mai a yu yi? That means, do you sell a rain suit? Mai wan ma. Ah ha ha. She literally just sold her last rain suit. But they do have acetone. Two, three, four. We need tons of acetone for our fiberglassing adventures. You use it to clean your brushes. You use it to clean the surface before you fiberglass. Sleep it. checkpoint there's three of them that you have to pass I don't know what they check for maybe smugglers from Colombia Hola. Hola. Linton Bay Marina oh. okay. Aeroporto. Gracias. I seriously doubt this place has a chaqueta lluvia but we're gonna give it a shot they have Crocs tiene a chaqueta lluvia no okay Gracias. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ah, si, bueno. Muy grande. Gracias. Yeah, yeah. Dude, we found one. Not even a fetteria, just this like tiny little bodega. We don't care about rain. We don't care about getting wet. You're pretty much wet all the time on a boat. If it's not sprinkling, the waves are crashing, it's not a big deal. The reason why we need this rain jacket is because we are gonna spray down the boat, but not the outside. We're spraying down the inside cabin, which I bet you haven't seen before. So after all the grinding and that crazy dust, we had that super nice chica, Hennessy, her name was Hennessy, come and clean for four days and get rid of everything to the naked eye. But we still have a ton of dust in the ceiling panels, under everything, drop down in the halls, under the beds, in the drawers that she didn't get to. So we're gonna go in each and every hall with a hose and spray that sucker down. At three dollars, I should go buy all of them. I'm pretty sure I paid 15 bucks each for these when I was in St. Martin. What a steal. How's it going? Good, Jay. Thank you, Hannah. Uh, no, I cut it. I cut it out, man. Wow. It's like a new boat. Look at it. I don't know how Hennessy did it. Dude, she made it nice. Everything was covered in dust before.
What a trip. I'm so happy to be back. It just sucks because I'm either without my family and with the boat or with the boat and without my family. But we're gonna fix that. Let's check out the starboard side. Oh, no dust. No dust. At least none that we can see but there's definitely still fiberglass in this boat. And that's why we need to wash this whole sucker down inside out. According to Colin, this was the most itchy that he ever got. These guys grind without suits sometimes. Fiberglass like on their skin and their hair doesn't phase them. He says all that fiberglass dust is gonna fall back on me, splash all over me and carry all the fibers basically right to my skin and it's gonna be super concentrated. If it bothers these guys, I am gonna get completely suited up. So I'm wearing Tyvek suit just like when I'm grinding. I'm gonna go gloves, taped up. This is what the rain suit was for. Fiberglass dust is probably the most uncomfortable, most disgusting feeling you can ever have. It just feels like hundreds of mosquito bites. Unrelenting mosquito bites. The only thing that makes fiberglass itch worse is uh, heat and real mosquito bites. Anyways, that's not gonna happen to us today. I have breathed in enough of this crap. In the off chance that there is still some dust floating around, which I'm sure there is, I'm gonna wear a full face. Hang on, I need to build some kind of shroud for these filters so they don't get soaked. Just a little extra protection from the splashies. Perk number one. Perk number two. All right, we should be protected. What do y'all think? Oh my God, I look like Marty McFly in Back to the Future. What was it, one? Where he crashes into that cabin and he comes out and it's like hat falls down and like, oh my God, he's in motion. Look at this comic, Papa. So we're gonna knock out all the power now so we don't create any shorts. I've got a transfer pump set up that's sucking out from the bilge. Shoot it out onto the ground. I've got that hose running all the way aft. From this point on, it's GoPro only, so there's gonna be horrible audio. Dropping down, so happy I'm wearing a mask. The hardest parts are actually going to be up in these ceiling panel crevices. These candles are dust all the way in there. We need to run off every single bit of fiberglass dust. We're just going to sit there and spray and spray and spray and spray and spray and spray until the water is clear. Everything's going to run into the sump and just get pumped out. We're going to do that over and over until we get rid of every speck of dust. I never want to smell fiberglass or feel it on my skin again. I'm always freaking out when I forget to close that port light over there because rain will leak in but we're just literally soaking everything and it doesn't even matter. Oh, wow, look at that. That's the crazy dust. Look at it just disappear. And we forgot to turn on the pump. Can I spray in these drawers? That just doesn't sound smart.
My God, that started off really freaking exciting and kind of fun. But then it got really, really hot in this suit. I'm basically wearing two full containment suits. I mean, if you count this rain jacket. So it's like a thousand degrees in here. I've got my sweat literally dripping down my arms into my gloves and pooling. These rubber boots are probably completely filled. I could feel myself squishing around and I just want to get all this off. But I got to go set up the dehumidifier first because that's the only way we're going to dry all this out. This is the aftermath. Just a quick look. I feel like Indiana Jones. All right. How do we turn this sucker on to high? Go! 90% humidity right now. Ooh, lens is fogging up. Let's get out of here. We're also gonna turn on this AC. The more the better. Oh, we gotta set up some fans too. Brand new Costco special. Two fans, one dehumidifier, we should be good. I'm soaked, I'm disgusting, I feel gross. I just need a shower and a sleep. Start over tomorrow. We've had a super wet couple of days. It actually poured all night last night. It was leaking into my hatches. It's all good though because we've got the dehumidifier going. It's been going for two days now. So that whole cabin should just be bone dry. percent humidity everything seems completely dry let's go uh, check out the other side and uh, start prepping because we need to wash that side and then we can start with the glassing Whew, thank god we're done with all the grinding <sighs> the grinding is not done I missed the spot last night I was watching the videos of when we first got here and of Colin and Jamie coming on the boat and pointing out all the cracks. And if you tap that, this That's is good. not doing anything anymore. Yeah. That's just bouncing. So you definitely need to take that out. And I was like, surely we got that. So we ground down probably like, I don't know, four or five layers of the tabbing, but it's the very bottom that's separated from the wood. So it was this area that Colin was tapping on in my original video. <laughs> that's the part that I missed. I should have watched the video before I did my grinding. Good glass, bad bouncy glass. This changes everything. We gotta do another day of grinding. And cleaning. The dust is gonna get everywhere again. It's all clean in here. Okay, whatever, it's all good. It's all good. We just need to prep for more grinding. We've got plenty of suits, plenty of discs, plenty of everything left. Oh my God, we have to clean this whole salon out again.